Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Planet Based Strategy and Tactics Episode 4. So when we last left our nearly starved colony, uh, we had gotten a couple of strings of luck. A trader brought us some uh, some extra things of food, much needed, and our colony ship brought some extra needed uh, biologists so they can actually maintain these things. Um, Yes, I know our food stocks are low. So here uh, we are going to be upgrading our pa our pads here to wheat so they can produce a little bit more gah, uh, a little bit more efficiently. But we do not want to sacrifice the production that is already in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on these things. And once they spit out their stuff, then we'll, we, we will recycle them. Now, recycling them gives us back the one bioplastic it cost us to build it. So essentially you can swap out your plants for free. But again, wait for them to produce so you don't squander all that time that they've been spent spending spending it. Because, I mean, it's still a perfectly good maze. Uh, you want the two maze plus the one starch. Um, and yeah, it'll be a little slower, but it'll be a lot. It'll take a while to make up for it if you just killed it right here. So that's going to be our upgrade method here. Meanwhile, our, uh, our biologists are hard at work keeping the meat alive here, so to speak. Get those chickens repaired. Do, 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 do. 96% good. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much at capacity when it comes to power. So I'm going to want to... Uh, my next... My next build item is going to be another solar panel. Now, keep in mind, solar panels are seven plus the one for the connection will be eight. So we need to build up to eight metal before we uh, build a, our next solar panel. All right, our uh, maze just uh, just produced here, so we can recycle it. Yes, we will get one maze. And here we will uh, replace that with uh, wheat. Or potentially rice. Rice actually works out very nicely. <coughs> let's uh, let's go for rice. Actually, extremely. Uh, actually, it's extremely demanding. Let's 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 go with the wheat. My original plan here, because rice gets really demanding. But as we get more and my more biologists in here. Um, the rice will, uh, rice will become actually the ideal thing here. And we're going to keep on hiring biologists because, um, where we are, sh we, we have more expansion strength. You know, we can turn these to wheat and then to rice. Um, and we can build more and more of these meat vats. So, and all of those require biologists, uh, at least until we get to a point where I'm really comfortable. Once you start seeing either uh, meat or vegetables show up in storage, then you know you've reached a point where you're producing more than your colony needs. Uh, right now, everything that we're producing is going into this meal maker. Oh, we got a maize and a vitra meat. I guess they're waiting for somebody to grab the meal and then it'll make it into burgers. Oh, more colonists already! Wow! It must be my birthday. What do we get? Two more! Holy crap! Holy crap! Well then, um... That may be all we need for a while, uh, as far as biologists go. Uh, what we're gonna need next is medics. We need, we're Sooner or later, someone's gonna get injured. Um, and there's uh, there's a gambit behind the medic here, uh, so we're gonna put it to maximum medics. Now, yes, we may get more than one medic. That's okay if we do. That is perfectly okay if we get more than one medic. All right, how soon are these things gonna be spitting out? This one's about to spit out. That one just spat out, so we can recycle it. Oops. Um. You know what? Let's uh, let's do let's, let's let's keep things diverse here. Let's get a rice pad here. Oh, I hear a trader coming. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? I'm running low on stuff to actually trade with. <laughs> Medical supplies. Funny you should mention. What's your commission? Eh, yeah, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Shoot. Sixty-five percent commission. 
There we go. All right, so we got our rice pad going here. And honestly, I mean, rice, maize, and wheat, for our purposes here, are interchangeable because we're pretty much doing nothing but these for plants and vitrameat. And those two combined, the uh, the wheat and the maize will make burgers, and you combine rice with those, uh, and you get yourself uh, quote-unquote pasta, basically Chinese food. Uh, quote-unquote Chinese food. But regardless, I know I'm starting to see a lot of people idle here. Are those idle biologists? Oh, we are doing rice. As soon as these maize plants are up, oh, that's, that maize plant is up. We're doing more rice. Rice, rice, rice. And actually, as soon as that wheat plant produces once, I'll probably turn it into rice. And actually, we should, how, what's our uh, bioplastic looking like? Plenty. Let's get some more vitramine going. And we are almost uh, ready for our next solar panel. All right, rice plant has been built. This thing is almost done. Yeah, I'm gonna change the wheat to the rice. We're gonna make this the Chinese food build. Yeah, the base is actually kind of bored right now. Let's give them some more stuff to do. We'll give them give them another bed. I am aware game. 100% boom, recycle. And rice. Now this wheat pad, once it produces once, I'm going to turn it into something else, but it's not going to be rice. This is going to play into uh, another strategy of ours that we're going to be planning on here. Um, how close are we to making another metal? All right, well, we just need a worker here, churning away. Oh, we have our first injury. Yep, first injury. It was inevitable. And that'll be our next building that we build after a solar collector, because we build anything more, we're going to run into power issues. Do these things suck power? A little bit. Yeah, we might start, uh, we might be in a, I don't want to say a little trouble with a capital T, but a little trouble. Yeah, once this thing, once this guy produces uh, this piece of metal here, we will get that solar pa panel up and running. The other reason why I'm sticking to strictly large solar panels is maintenance. All, uh, all stuff, you know, all, all uh, power producing entities require spare parts to maintain, but it takes one unit of spare parts to maintain them, regardless if they're a little tiny one or a big one. Therefore, the more big ones that you use, the more um, um, the, the fewer spare parts you use for the amount of power you can produce. More colonists. All right, and this will give us our doctors. Our doctor. Singular. That's okay. We only need the one at the moment. We only need one at the moment. All right, how is this wheat doing? It's go it's coming along. Um, we do need more workers, especially since we're down a worker. So I'm going to go back to the workers. Yeah, we got six biologists. We got plenty, plenty of biologists right now. Good to see this plant going in thing. Yeah, but we need more workers to fill up the mine. We'll put the mine back on there since our shortfall is not on uh, on production space. It's we need the re raw meat resources. And then once we get our re our resources built back up again, I will make the sick bay, so that uh, 
people can, uh, yeah, recover their injuries. Good. Get you guys going. Hopefully you can get get it up in time. Although it may not be, because the sun's starting to set. I know you ran out of medical supplies. Keep your pants on. Alright, our engineers seem to be keeping things together. Or our biologists, that is. Which is good. It means they're on top of stuff. Yeah, it's nighttime. That's all right. It'll be ready for tomorrow. If we run into a small power shortfall, that's okay. Um, I mean, I'd obviously rather it not be a shortfall. Aha! Look at that. Our, our we have we have we have placed that into storage. Now, this may uh, this may also indicate that we need to expand our canteen. Which is fine. Uh, I'm okay with uh, expanding this out. Although that is going to use up all of our stuff. So we'll keep the canteen as is for now. Uh, once I get more metal in place, or enough metal in place, I'll get our sick pay going. Yes, I know. Well, here's one thing I do want to get. A medical bench. Because that is going to be part of our plan. Has this produced? It has produced. Good. Now, instead of making wheat here, we are actually going to tell it to make medical uh, herbs. This is required in the production of medical supplies. And generally, the ratio is one, one thing to one uh, thing. Ooh. And yet uh, more colonists. One worker. That's fine. I'm good with one worker. Yeah, into the mine you go, buddy. Have fun. Yeah, go go do that connection. We're gonna need that. How are we on day night? Eh, not bad. We might get uh, be scraping the bottom for power, um, but we'll be okay. Anyone bring that here? Someone bioplastic. Thank you. Good. So that will start producing the raw materials we need for our medical supplies. Now this is going to be, I mean, it's important now just so we can, yeah, we've got another broken bone here, to treat our workers because they're essentially out of commission. They can't do squat while they're injured like this until we treat them. Um, what's the uh, sick bit? Yeah, one and one. Well, we used all of that stuff, but I hear the metal getting produced, so we'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll do this because we can link off of there. Not ideal. I normally would put this off the spine, but we're a little short on space. Trading ship A. What do you got for me? What's your commission? 45%. Alright, willing to play ball. Um, it is another medical one. I would... I would like to get the medicinal plants because when you turn them, when you combine them with a uh, with a uh, bioplastic and turn them into medicine, that turns into a value 25. Now, 10 plus 10 equals 5. But keep in mind that the uh, uh, the bioplastic is self-produced from a 5 value starch. So you actually get two chances to refine it and add 10 to the value of this thing. So it's actually pretty darn good. Now, um... 14, a. Eh? I've got a bit too much vetra meat. So yes, we'll buy one of those for three of our vetra meat. Because I have a feeling we're going to need them. <laughs> and our one doctor, once we get that one, uh, that one plants there, will uh, start making the medicine for us. Oh, crap. No! Oh, God, they're carrying stuff. Oh, no, and we don't have beds. 
Nobody takes stuff outside. Oh, God. And I have a trade going. You fools! Oh, no! And I can't, I can't tell them to get the heck inside. Yep, they're all irradiated. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This could not have hit at the worst time. A trade ship plus... You guys are all dead. You are all dead. Do not go back outside, you fools. There's a chance that you that they will survive a solar flare if uh, if they can race to a medical bed. But now, not so much. And our bot's getting cooked. What are you doing, you fool? No, no, no. Turn... Turn off that mine. Get out. Now, I do remember the mines do damage irreversibly. Yeah, he lost it. Oh, God. Now our medic. You fool. You all are fools. This is going to be starting back at, at uh, square one here. Oh, thank God our medic didn't get... Uh, didn't get fried. Oh god, this is so bad. This, you are all going to die. You are all going to die. Oh man. Do something useful while you can. And the people... This is going to take a while to recover from. I don't think we're actually completely dead, but boy, are we close. The people with the broken bones are going to be fine, but they're useless until uh, until then. But we got stuff already built and whatnot. We're just going to have a bunch of dead people momentarily. And we lost our bot. Our bot got trapped outside, and yeah, if they if they lose their all their their health while they're out in a solar flare, they are fried. Doesn't matter their overall health. Yes, thank you for auto saving there, game. Much appreciated. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, no, we can, we can try to recover from this. And yeah, no one's going to do any work because. Oh, here it comes! Death wave! Do we have any able-bodied people? Is it just our medic? No, we have a couple of able-bodied people. Yeah. Six colonists have died. Meteor impact on connection. Do we have any uh, engineers available that can... That can actually do things. Biologist, biologist. No, all of our engineers are dead. We need engineers. Yep, they're all dead. All of the engineers are dead. That's not good. That has severed the colony off from here oh god yeah no one's gonna be able to build that I am aware of that game we need we need a savior here I'm just gonna fast forward we may be dead here folks but if we can get a colony ship in here with an engineer we might be able to do it because the medic oh geez all the foods over here we need an engineer. We need him very, very soon. <laughs> There's no getting around that. And... Well, no, the Vitramites are gonna, are gonna produce, so we can, we're, we can hold off on starvation. But holy crap. We went back down to five colonists. All that. And we lost our bot. 
That bot's gonna, the, the loss of the bot, like, super early is gonna hurt. Alright, well, first off, it's just to, well, we don't even need to shut these down to save power. Because it really isn't, we've got enough power generation, it's just nobody's here. We need people here. Um, medic. Yeah, we're medic, we're gonna have you come here. And, uh, please work on medical supplies. Oh yeah, well, you can't do with anything with that without, uh, frickin'. We need, we need, we need an engineer. We need it so badly. Is there any metal? Yeah, well, these things are out of oxygen, but that's, uh, no one's in there, so. At least I hope no one's in there. No, there's one poor biologist stuck in here. He's going to suffocate. <laughs> He's going to die. One more death to add on to the, uh, onto this death wave. That was, that was the worst solar flare I have ever, ever encountered. And we need an engineer before to dig us out of this. Hopefully that biologist dies so his low needs don't uh, impact the overall average of the colony so people will show up. Oh god. Engineer, my kingdom for an engineer. Here he is just diligently like, tending the plants with the last ounces of his life, poor fellow. Yep, and here goes the power structures. They're starting to decay. And we need engineers for that. Dehydration, so he died of thirst before he died of, uh, of oxygen. Ah, oh, traitor. No, no, I don't need you, traitor. I need you to vacate the landing pad. Ah, speed, speed down. What do you have? A 35% commission. Uh... Do I want to buy a bot? Oh, I could buy a constructor bot. I could buy a constructor bot. Yes, I can drive a stroker bot. Oh, I can't trade away my spares. That's that's a that's a death sentence. Uh, I can't afford a stru I can't afford a constructor bot. I'd love a constructor bot. You're a thirty-five uh, percent uh, percenter here. Can't trade away those vegetables. I'm gonna have to dismiss it. <laughs> I want to trade it with you, buddy. I really did, but we're kind of in tight tough, uh, tough straits here. All right, come on, engineer. Yes, I know you guys are out of oxygen. Engineer. You're down to four people. One medic, two biologists, and a worker who's injured. Oh, thank God. Two engineers? Yes, two engineers! We are saved! Oh. All right, folks. I don't think this colony is over, but this episode is over. So will we actually be able to dig ourselves out from that death wave? Find out in the next episode on uh, planet-based strategy and tactics. So if you like this episode and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, better, and different. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.